Hello, today we're going to talk about editing terminal commands as well as aborting program execution. Let's get started. First thing uh, is that we need to determine what shell we're using before we give these commands. Um, these are these will work with the bash shell, and so it's it's just good to know which which shell we're using. In order to determine that, we use echo space dollar sign zero. This will display the name of the program, aka the terminal emulator that is being run. Let's go ahead and pull up a terminal and give that a try. So if I type echo dollar sign zero, tells me that I am running bash. I am running the bash shell emulator. Now we get into correcting mistakes. All mistakes can be corrected before return or enter before return is pressed. So if you've typed something and you need to edit anything at all, you can edit either a character, a word, or a line before return is pressed. In order to um, correct characters, if you want to delete characters, then you would use the backspace key. It's the default erase key. It erases one character at a time. If a backspace fails, uh, try delete or control H. You can also delete a word, and in the context of Linux, a word is any sequence of characters that does not contain a space or a tab character. The command is control W. This overwrites the previous word and places the cursor at the beginning position. Finally, we have the ability to delete a line, and you would delete a line using control U, or uh, if the above command doesn't work, you could try control X. So let's try those three methods of character or of erasing. Let's start first with command clear, and I want to try first erasing character by character, backspace, or Control H. If I want to delete a word, I have to use Control W. So if I want to, I'm going to type, um, make a directory, and let's try next. Make make directory next, but I want to delete the word next. Control W. Control W got rid of that word. What if I want to get rid of the line? I use control U, I type control U. So those are the three methods of erasing in Linux. Backspace or control H for characters, uh, control W for words, control U for lines. Now, what if those commands don't work for you? Well, you may need to reset your terminal parameters. Uh, and two here that uh, are, are most relevant are the erase and line kill values, and those are reset using the STTY uh, utility. In this case, you would give the name of the utility STTY space EK. Also, most, uh, so that would be if you needed to uh, uh, reset your erase and line kill values, but if you need to reset more of the values, you can uh, give the keyword sane, S-A-N-E, and that will reset most of the default values of the terminal. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Nothing will be shown to the screen, but know in the background that the default values have been set. STTY space EK resets the erase and kill line, and then STTY sane will reset your default uh, terminal parameters. Next thing we're going to talk about is the is suspending a program. Now you may ask yourself, why are we talking about suspending a program? I thought this was editing uh, editing mistakes at the command line, and the reason why we're talking about it is because it shares uh, is that suspending a program shares the same keyword as the as the um, command that is often given with most other programs to uh, be able to undo a mistake. For instance, I'm using LibreOffice here to present these notes, and if I type something in LibreOffice and I want to undo the mistake, I would type Control Z, and, and the error would be removed. 
In Linux, Control Z does not correct a mistake, but it converts a current job to a background process. And in order to bring it back to the foreground, you would need to use the command FG. So if I open up, let's say I open up the Vim text editor, newt.py, and uh, I'm typing something in here. Okay. And uh, that that's an error, and I want to undo the mistake. Well, if I type control, uh, first of all, I have to be in normal mode. If I press control Z, you'll see that my program has been moved to the background process. It's been stopped. In order to bring it back to the foreground, FG. Type FG, and now this process has been returned to the foreground. So that is, that is the use of control Z in Linux, not to undo a mistake, but to suspend a program. The next, the next section that we'll be discussing uh, is the ability to repeat or edit command lines. Linux allows us to access our history of commands uh, by using our arrow keys. If we press our up arrow key at the command line, this will allow us to go back through our history and automatically places that historical command in the current prompt. Alternatively, if you press the down arrow key, you will go from your previous position in history back down towards your current position. Once you have a line that you want to work with, you can then move your cursor around at various positions in the line with the right and left arrow keys. Finally, you can bring up the previous commands, the most recent command, with the with uh, two exclamation marks. Finally, a previous command can be rerun with a substituted sequence. Let's demonstrate those steps. Go terminal. Okay, so first of all, we'll use our arrow keys. So up arrow keys goes back in my history. Down arrow keys returns me to the present, the present uh, bash history. Okay, if I then go back in uh, in my history and then I use my left and right arrow keys, I can move the cursor at different positions and I could enter some text. I could enter some modifications to the previous commands or even a current command. If I want to run the previous command, double exclamation point, and it populates the terminal with my most recent command. If I want to substitute the uh, some portion of this, let's say for instance I want to turn this from a uh, .py uh, file file type to a, a, a C++ file, so .cpp. So I would run vim newt, and I can use uh, tab completion um, newt. Oh, so I could do it that way. I could show vim newt and then just type it out. That's that's pretty easy. But what if I want to use substitution? Well. I can use my carrots. So caret old sequence dot pi caret dot cpp. And now it will populate my command line with the old prompt now modified to show dot cpp versus dot pi. And you see vim newt dot cpp. Open that up. Now I have a cpp file. Very good. So that was the ability to go back in your history and uh, your, your, your bash history, being able to modify uh, lines using your, your left and right arrow keys to move your cursor, as well as running your previous commands. What's our final section? Well, our final section is aborting execution. So uh, if you need to close a program for any reason, there are three methods that you can use um, to close a program at the terminal in Linux. The preferred method is to terminate a program from the textual display using the interrupt key, and that is Control-C. 
when you press Control c the termination signal is sent to the targeted program and the shell. Various programs will handle term differently, but the shell displays a prompt and waits for another command. The secondary methods are to send a quit signal, and that is with Control backslash uh, and then finally, you have the ability to send a kill signal. Now, it's important to remember that you only send kill if, if you have tried uh, term and quit and they have failed. Only use it as a last resort. This is The reason for this is that the targeted program's files may be corrupted by this process. They may not close down properly and you may lose data. Allow a full 10 seconds to elapse after sending a term signal or a quit signal before killing the program. Now, the process to kill a program is you first have to move it to the background using Control-Z. You determine the job number, and then you send the kill number percent sign. Actually, a little caveat here. If you give the command kill space percent job number, the the default interpretation of this command is that you have sent a terminate signal. You must be explicit about sending the kill command, and that is given here as kill space ha uh, hyphen kill all in caps space percent sign job number. And the program cannot ignore the kill flag. Okay, so let's go ahead and demonstrate those three methods of program of program aborting. So pull up a terminal here. And I have I have a program here called infinite loop.py that continues to print to infinity and beyond. And it will continue to print until I send a terminate uh, a termination signal. So let's try first with control C. Press control C and I sent a keyboard interrupt, as you can see. Very nice. So let's run that again. And now let's try our second method. Let's say that the terminate didn't work. Well, we might need to send quit. Control backslash. Indeed, quit works as well. Finally, sending the kill, the kill signal. I don't have to worry about this program because there are no files to clean up. It's simply a script that's printing a particular value. Okay. First of all, we have to send, we have to suspend the process. Control Z. Then we look at jobs. And it shows me, ah, I have two. I have two commands here. Uh, I have two infinite loops running. Well, I can actually kill both of them. Uh, but the first thing, let's try, let's try sending the default kill command, which will send a terminate, and we'll try it on number one. So if I send kill percent sign one, it good, it quit, it quit Python three infinite loop. If I run jobs again, you see now I only have one. I, I now have only one Python three infinite loop dot pi. Well, I want to give the explicit kill kill signal for this uh, script, so I type kill hyphen all caps kill now I'm sending the kill signal percent sign job number which is two now you see that job number two has been killed this has been the process for uh, executing or for, for um, aborting program execution at the Linux terminal so uh, remember you can you can edit your command lines by erasing characters using backspace or control H. You can delete words by control W, delete lines by control U. You have the ability to reset uh, terminal parameters using the STTY utility. You have the ability to go back through your history using your up and down arrow keys and then moving your cursor back and forth uh, in a particular line. And then finally, you have the ability to abort programs by sending a terminate, uh, um, a term signal, a quit signal, or a kill signal. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.